So politics isn't something I really dabble in because I don't really care about it. It just doesn't interest me. But when you throw in video games into the mix, I get a little bit interested. Now, many of us remember the president, Bill Clinton. His wife, Hillary, is currently running, but enough about that. Bill Clinton was a cool dude. He served two terms, and pretty much the only thing anyone really remembers was the I did not have sexual relations with that woman, which quickly turned into I did have sexual relations with that woman. So, you know, play on player. But evidently, another big part of Bill Clinton's presidency was his cat, Socks the Cat. So much, in fact, that during the 16-bit era, someone was actually creating a game called Socks the Cat Rocks the Hill, which was based on Bill Clinton's cat. They even had like Bill playing the little saxophone. Of course, they used his likeness, but not his name. And it was a game that was being developed. Unfortunately, the game never came out, or maybe fortunately, who knows, and it was lost into the gaming history world. Or so we thought. Recently, a prototype has been purchased by someone who paid a lot of money for it. He's saying he paid about the price of a used car. So, you know, probably a couple grand or whatever. And he's decided to take this to Kickstarter. And what he's gonna do is he's gonna have box copies available for like 50 bucks, Super Nintendo version. So I'm assuming this is a Super Nintendo build and digital copies for like 20 bucks. So Socks the Cat rocks the hill. And obviously Bill Clinton loved another form of pussy with, you know, the cat, not, not Monica. And, uh, you know, this looks like an interesting game. It's probably not gonna be a great game. It's based on a cat who does 2D action platformer stuff, you know, stuff with security guards and in the White House and whatnot, but it's still interesting. It's very interesting to see these games always come out years later when people thought, you know, no prototypes were still available. This would never see the light of day, and now here it is. Now, they have not announced when the Kickstarter would launch or anything, but one cool thing about the Kickstarter is that they're going to actually give away the prototype cartridge. Whoever backs it the highest with the highest dollar amount will actually get the original prototype cartridge. So, socks the cat rocks the hill. I've probably been putting up some pictures here so you can kind of get a feel for the game. And yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's interesting. You have to at least give it that. How successful it'll be on Kickstarter really depends, honestly. I don't know if there's really gonna be a big market for this game. It seems kind of like a small collector's thing, but hopefully it does well. I will at least check out the Kickstarter and let you guys know what I think about it. But let me know what you think about this and what you think about games that have been you know, thought to be forgotten that are now coming out into the limelight with recent discoveries. So, socks the cat, rocks the hill. All right, Bill. I'll see you guys next time. Later.